It was cold enough last night. As you can see here, there was ice on my hammock. Day five. You can see a nice layer of frost on everything. We all survived the cold night. It's about to set out here at about 9 a.m. Got to go get the canoe loaded. to paddle up by this Ames Creek here a little further so we can avoid a couple hundred meters of uh, portage. Is it a good idea? We'll find out. Seems like it. Portaging here on Ames Creek. The portage that goes to Lubert or breaks off into it. It is very well flagged but it is one of the it is the most challenging of the trip so far almost besides uh the elevation is pretty good. Just lots of blowdowns, lots of twists and turns. Uh, very not maintained a trail, I guess is what you could say. Part bushwhacking. We did paddle up the creek. It's about a good chunk of the way. To knock off. Create a few meters of the portage, but this one you gotta pay attention. It's very easy to get lost. Which I might do. See? There's the flag. See what I mean by blowdowns? Made it to the end of that nasty portage. Great buggy. It was great to paddle again. Oh, yeah. Oh, lots of hard work in portaging. Bushwhacking. Look at the view on this gorgeous campsite here at the north end of Ames. This portage trail along Ames Creek was really muddy at the beginning to get out. The lake is pretty much just a shallow mud bath that has some water in it right now, but the sides, when you try to get out, it's like, uh, well, we stuck our paddles down and our paddles didn't really touch bottom in the mud. So it's just this sucky mud that goes on forever, it feels like. So we paddle closer to shore, fighting the mud. And eventually we found a bunch of trees that extended out like about 100 feet into the middle of this mud. And we were able to get on the trees and push our way through the mud. And then we had to walk about at least 100, 200 meters along shore trying not to get sucked into the mud to uh, eventually get to this portage which they say is about uh, almost 700 meters just getting super exhausted there's a few blowdowns one nasty one and that's life right now next lake in the cycle of pain after the muddy portage Up Florence. Last portage here into Florence. It might doesn't seem that bad, but I am just beat. So it's actually going very slow and I'm done. 
So it's a very difficult portage when you're tired. Here's my happy face. As good as it gets. Lawrence Lake. Here we are at our gorgeous campsite on day five at Florence Lake. A nice loon greeting us. Got my hammock nice and set up. Looks like a sweet spot. And the nice thing about this site is we're able to spread out a nice view of these uh, mountains. Look at Darren's nice spot here. He even has his own fire pit. Very nice. Day six here on Florence has been a rest day, something I've never taken, so this is an interesting experience. Uh, we got up late, slept in, had a nice breakfast, and then uh, we decided to paddle over to Florence Mountain. We tried to go up the trail. The trail kind of ends a little abruptly, we found. That kind of sucked. Um, we didn't make it to the top, but it was a good, nice walk. And came back here and uh, had lunch, did some yoga. And uh, now I'm just gonna have a cup of tea. And uh, just enjoy the relax, and just enjoy the rest day and try to uh, heal our aching bodies for the next day. Tomorrow we're heading to Lubart Lake, which has an elevation of, uh, I believe, 521 meters. So we got quite the hike up to Lubart. End of day six.